Hey, this is Jay Donovan with TechCrunch. I'm here, we're looking at Scanadu. Is that what it's called? That's right, Scanadu. And uh, why don't you tell us what Scanadu is? So the idea behind Scanadu is to revolutionize health by putting data about your own body in your own hands. Right now, if you have a condition or a concern, you've got to get online and look about that. But if you want to know about your own body, it's really hard to find out. And this is the first piece from Scanadu. Uh, inspired by the tricorder from Star Trek. And the basic idea is you just hold it up to your forehead like this, and very quickly by Bluetooth, it starts showing what's happening. So, and okay, let's take a look at what's happening. This is your brain. That is my, this is my heart. Oh, your heart. And this okay. is the oxygen in my blood vessels. This will not be what the final one the consumers get. And here you go. There's my heart rate, my breathing rate, my temperature and my pulse transit time, how fast my blood's flowing, and my oxygen level. So the stuff that you would get at the beginning of a doctor's visit, you can have right away, and then with a button, you send it to a physician, or you can analyze it at home. So for me, my temperature curve, it, this is it, over the course of a typical day. So everybody thinks their normal temperature is 98.6, but it's not. Everybody has a different normal temperature, and it changes during the day. So for me, 99 degrees at 4 in the afternoon is totally normal. 99 degrees at 4 in the morning is an outright fever. And I wouldn't have known it without this analyzing my temperature curve. Okay, so what happens is, during different times of the day, you right. use this tool to find out more information about your body and what's going on. Right. Use it. Uh, and, and then and when you're not feeling well, then it can take that data and figure out whether you're sick or not and what's going on. Great. Yeah. What happens to the data afterwards? So does it upload to your computer? Or so like that. It's stored in your phone, and you can yeah. send it to whomever you want. And it's a very easy one-button send to your physician, so you can start a conversation. I'm a physician, so for me, I love it. If the families give me a call, I have this information right at the beginning. Great. You're a physician. Hey, listen, I got this problem yeah. with my, my shoulder. And you know, uh, the next question, Yeah. why, if you were checking your heart, did you put it on your head? Very interesting. So it goes up and the So the best place to measure oxygen is from your finger. The best place to measure your temperature temperature on the surface is your temporal artery, but for your heart, your heart, you have to have two electrodes on both sides of the heart. So instead of playing twister, we did this really elegant thing where when you hold it like this, you're measuring the oxygen from here, you're measuring your temperature from the forehead, and there's a circuit from this electrode goes down through my heart, back up through my arm to that electrode, and it's checking the heart. All with one easy motion. You don't have to check six different things or contort yourself.